Greetings! Welcome to Q&A with Damo. I'm Priscilla Ku from UOB Asset Management, Digital Channel and Sales Team. And I will be interviewing Damo Sarjanto, Chief Investment Strategist for UOB AM Invest, to have a better understanding of ETFs. Damo, what is ETFs and why do investors choose ETFs? ETFs or Exchange Traded Funds, as the name implies, are funds that are traded on the stock exchange. They are different from unit trusts and mutual funds in that they are usually bought and sold on the exchange instead of being sold in bank branches or by financial advisors. In addition, most ETFs tend to be managed in a systematic way, such as tracking a particular market index with the aim of just delivering index return, while many unit trusts are actively managed by a fund manager with the aim to beat the index. Thirdly, because ETFs are managed systematically with no intention to beat the market, they tend to charge lower fees as compared to unit trusts that try to beach their benchmarks. ETFs started out by tracking major stock market indices. The best known is probably the SPIDER that tracks the S&P 500 index and the Triple Q which tracks the NASDAQ Composite Index. This grew to cover most regional and country indices such as MSCI All Country World, MSCI Asia X Japan, Singapore's Straits Times Index, and China's CSI 300 Index. Today, there are ETFs that track industry sector indices such as healthcare or IT, certain stock characteristics such as growth, value, or high dividend, or even certain themes such as coffee, millennial, or environmental. ETFs are a great way to get market exposure at a cheap cost when there's no intention to try to beat the market. For small investors, ETFs also provides good diversification for small investment amount. In the US, one can buy as little as one share of an ETF. I see. There are so many benefits from ETFs. Are there any cons from ETFs to consider? For Priscilla, the downside of ETFs is that they are largely passive instruments that don't try to protect investors in a down market. Their job is largely to replicate the index. Hence, if market drops 30%, they'll fall by the same amount. Active managers, on the other hand, would try to protect the portfolio during a market downturn. Moreover, although management fees are low, there are still some costs involved and hence investors are bound to underperform the market even if only by a slight amount every year. Thirdly, ETFs tend to invest in broad strokes, such as by countries or sectors, and can't take into account some nuances, for example, to exclude banks or airlines in the portfolio. What do you look for in ETFs? When we look at ETF at UOBAM Invest, there are a few criteria that we look for. First, we look at tracking error. This shows how well the ETF is tracking the market index that we want to have exposure to. A good ETF should have very low tracking error. Secondly, we look for ETF with low management fees and total expense ratio so investors get most of the market returns. Third, we look for ETFs with good market liquidity. This allows investors to buy and sell the ETFs easily. And of course, the reputation and the credibility of the ETF creator also come into consideration. We want ETF managers that have strong trading and risk management systems that will not fail in times of market stress. In the end, ETFs are investment vehicles that allow us to express our investment views. We will look for the best instrument to serve the investment purpose of our clients. Thank you, Damo, for your insights on ETFs. Pleasure. Stay tuned for more insightful Q&A with Damo.